Hello, my name is John Dees. I'm a principal engineer for the RNI, uh, responsible for the RNI's launch and recovery equipment. Uh, this project that we're looking at today is the Shannon Class launch and recovery system, which has been developed and designed to meet the new launch and recovery requirement for the new Shannon Class lifeboat. Um, I'll just run you through a, a few of the technical details and the capabilities of this piece of equipment. It's a four track drive, hydraulically driven uh, tractor. It's capable of 9 miles an hour fully laden on the flat. Um, it has very low ground pressure so it's capable of driving over flat, soft, sandy beaches and muddy beaches um, without getting stuck. Um, also the benefits of this piece of equipment is that you can launch in different, different modes. You can raise the carriage so it's like a slipway and launch like you would a slipway boat into the water. Or you can actually do a drive off launch where you power the boat up and drive off of the carriage um, in rough weather. Also, it enables you to recover the boat from a beach state or from a partially floating state. Should the equipment get bogged down for any reason and you have to close it down, uh, it's capable of taking a 9 metre tide over the top of it um, and you should better go back to it the next day, um, repair the problem and it will start up with no, no detrimental effect or, effect or water ingress. The way the vehicle is controlled is you've got a drive controller on your right hand stick which when you select the drive mode pre-selects the engine revs um, and the range you then drive it as you would expect pushing the stick forward for forward and left and right uh, for left and right. You've also got an auxiliary joystick on the other side which controls all your auxiliary functions such as raising the tilt ram on this end um, and reducing the other end of the carriage for, for launch. You've also got winch control on this controller and the cradle slew function because you recover the boat bow first and then slew it through 180 degrees, um, pull it back into the carriage ready for launch again. It's actually really good to finally get onto the beach with the, with the new boat um, and finalise the trials and it's a it's been a long time in, in the development stage, but it's actually really rewarding to get to this stage of the project and actually see everything working well and recovering the boat um, quickly and safely, um, which is what the crews will be there for hopefully the next 50 or so years doing. Uh, without the continued support of our, our supporters and the, the public, projects like this wouldn't be possible um, and we wouldn't be able to push forward and develop such capable pieces of equipment like we've got here for safely launching our lifeboats and looking after our volunteer crew.